This is a WECT Cape Fear Business Break. Hello, I'm Megan Donahue. With me today is Chris Bondrell from the law offices of Chris Bondrell. Chris, welcome back. Good to be here, Megan. How are you? Doing well, thanks. Good. We got questions for you. All right. Uh, Jane in Southport writes in and says, I, I have had financial problems for about two years now. I get collection calls every day. When is filing bi bankruptcy the right path to take? Um, given those circumstances, she's probably in the, that position. Mm -hmm. But uh, to answer the question, if you're behind on your mortgage, behind on your credit card bills, behind on your car payment, if you're being sued, if you're being threatened to being sued, um, and there's quite a, no, a number of other scenarios, but in my experience, most people, they pretty much know when they have to file. And it's basically when looking forward with your income and your expenses, you realize you just can't meet the, the deadlines to make those payments. Mm -hmm. That's usually a time when you need to consult an attorney about potentially filing a bankruptcy case. Okay. Uh, now, Ingrid in Wilmington writes, I know I need to file bankruptcy, but I'm worried about how it will affect my credit and my ability to borrow in the future. Okay. That's a relatively common question that I get. Um, my answer in part is typically when somebody's in that position where they probably have to file a bankruptcy, their credit's already bruised, right. you know, to put it mildly, already. Uh, filing the bankruptcy does actually lower your score a bit, um, but it also stops the negative reporting from the credit cards and other um, creditors that you have. So yes, it hurts it, but you can actually still get financing. Okay. Good information. They can give your office a call. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. You can go to chrislegal.com for more information as well. For more details, go to lawconnect.wect.com.